In this lecture, we'll talk about determinants and solving systems of equations using Kramer's rule. So let's start by discussing what Kramer's rule is. Kramer's rule is a method of solving a system of equations using matrices, but it can only be used if the number of equations equals the number of variables. Before we can talk about Kramer's rule, we need to talk about the determinant of a matrix. Specifically in this section, we'll talk about determinants of a two by two matrix. So if A, B, C, and D are all real numbers, then capital D equal to A, B, C, D surrounded by vertical bars is called the determinant of the two by two matrix A, B, C, D. So the vertical bars on either side tell us that we want to take the determinant. And so this is how we compute the determinant of a two by two system. So we have the determinant of the matrix A, B, C, D. We're going to multiply diagonally. So we're going to multiply A times D and we're going to add that value. And then we'll multiply the other diagonal and subtract. So we subtract B times C. So the determinant of a matrix that's two by two takes the form AD minus BC. So let's look at a couple of examples. We want to compute the following determinants. First, we want to find the determinant of the matrix 6, 1, 5, 2. So again, to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, we'll multiply the first diagonal, 6 times 2, and add that. And then we multiply the off diagonal, 5 times 1, and subtract it. So, so if we simplify, 6 times 2 is 12, and 5 times 1 is 5, so we get 12 minus 5 which gives us seven. So the determinant of this matrix is seven. Here's another example. Find the determinant of the matrix eight, negative three, four, two. I'd like for you to take a couple minutes and see if you can figure this one out. Once you finish, or if you get stuck, feel free to continue the lecture with me. So to find the determinant of the matrix, we first multiply the diagonal eight times two, that gives us 16. Then we multiply the off diagonal, four times negative three, that gives us negative 12, and we subtract that. So 16 minus a negative 12, and if we simplify, 16 minus a negative 12 is 28. So the determinant of this matrix will be 28. Now that we've talked about determinants, we can talk about Kramer's rule for a two by two system. Kramer's rule says that the solution of the system of equations ax plus by equals s and cx plus dy equals t is given by x equals capital D sub x divided by capital D and y equals capital D sub y divided by capital D assuming that capital D does not equal zero where capital D is the determinant of our system a, b, c, and d capital D sub x is the determinant of the system a, B, C, D, but with the first column replaced with our constants S and T, and D sub Y is the determinant of the system with the second column replaced with S and T. So let's work out a few examples where we're going to use Kramer's rule. We want to solve this system of equations using Kramer's rule. We have 3X plus 4Y equals negative 2, 5X minus 7Y equals 1. So in order to use Kramer's rule, we need to find those determinants, D, D sub X, and D sub Y. So let's start with D. Again, D is the determinant of our, of our system, the X and Y coefficients. So we're looking at the determinant of the matrix 3, 4, 5, minus 7. So to find the determinant, we multiply our diagonal, 3 times negative 7, that gives us negative 21. And we multiply the off diagonal, 4 times 5, that gives us 20. We subtract that. So we have negative 21 minus 20, which simplifies to be negative 41. Next, we want to find D sub X. So we're going to take the original matrix and we're going to replace the first column with the right hand side of our system. So our new matrix will be negative 2, 4, 1, and negative 7. We want to find this determinant. So we multiply our diagonal, negative 2 times negative 7, that gives us 14. And we multiply the off diagonal, 1 times 4 gives us 4, which we'll subtract. So we have 14 minus 4, which if we simplify will be 10. Finally, we find D sub Y by taking our original matrix and replacing the second column with the right hand side of our system. 
So d sub y will be the determinant of the matrix 3, negative 2, 5, 1. We multiply our diagonal, 3 times 1 gives us 3. And we multiply the off diagonal, 5 times negative 2 gives us negative 10, which we subtract. So 3 minus a negative 10 gives us a 13. So now that we know all of our determinants, we can apply Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule says that our x variable for our solution will be dx divided by d, which gives us 10 divided by negative 41. And the solution for y will be dy divided by d, which gives us 13 divided by negative 41. So the solution to this system of equations is negative 10 over 41, negative 13 over 41. So let's look at another example. This time we want to solve this system of equations using Kramer's rule. We have 2x plus 4y equals 16 and 3x minus 5y equals negative 9. We start by finding our determinants. So the overall determinant d is just the determinant of the coefficients of x and y. That's the matrix 2, 4, 3, negative 5. We multiply our diagonal together. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then multiply the off diagonal. 3 times 4 is 12, which we subtract. So negative 10 minus 12 is negative 22. So d is equal to negative 22. Next we find the determinant d sub x by replacing the first column of our original determinant with the right hand side of our system. So that'll be the matrix 16, 4, negative 9, negative 5. We compute the determinant by multiplying our diagonal. 16 times negative 5 is negative 80. And multiplying the off diagonal, negative 9 times 4 is negative 36, which we'll subtract. Negative 80 minus a negative 36 is the same thing as negative 80 plus 36. So we get negative 44. And finally, we find the determinant d sub y by replacing the second column of our matrix with the right-hand side of the system. So we have 2, 16, 3, negative 9. So we multiply our diagonal. 2 times negative 9 gives us negative 18. And we multiply 3 times 16 to get 48, which we subtract. So negative 18 minus 48 gives us a negative 66. Now that we've computed all three determinants, we can use Kramer's rule. So the solution for x will be dx divided by d, which is negative 44 divided by negative 22, which simplifies to give us 2. And y equals dy divided by d, which is negative 16 over negative 22, which simplifies to give us 3. So the solution to this system of equations is the ordered pair 2, 3. Here's another example where we want to solve using Kramer's rule. We have the system of equations x plus 3y equals 5 and 2x minus 3y equals negative 8. I'd like for you to take a few minutes, use Kramer's rule and try to find the solution to this system. If you get stuck or when you finish, feel free to continue with me and work along. We find its determinant by multiplying our diagonal. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And the off diagonal, 2 times 3 is 6, which we subtract. So negative 3 minus 6 gives us a negative 9. Next, we find d sub x by replacing the first column with the right-hand side of our system. So we now have the matrix 5, 3, negative 8, negative 3. We find the determinant by multiplying our diagonal. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And the off diagonal, negative 8 times 3 is negative 24, which we subtract. So we have negative 15 minus a negative 24, which simplifies to be a positive 9. Finally, we find d sub y by replacing the second column of our matrix with the right-hand side of the system. So our new matrix is 1, 5, 2, negative 8. We find the determinant by multiplying our diagonal. 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. And our off diagonal, 2 times 5 is 10, which we subtract. So negative 8 minus 10 gives us a negative 18. Now that we've found all of our determinants, we can apply Kramer's rule. So the solution to x will be dx divided by d, which gives us 9 divided by negative 9, which simplifies to be negative 1. And the solution to y will be dy divided by d, which is negative 18 divided by negative 9, and that simplifies to give us a positive 2. So the solution to this system is the ordered pair negative 1, 2.
Let's look at one last example. This time we want to try to solve the system of equations x minus 2y equals 3, negative 3x plus 6y equals negative 9, using Kramer's rule if we can. So we start by finding our determinants. Capital D will be the determinant of the x and y coefficients. So that's the matrix 1, negative 2, negative 3, 6. To find our determinant, we multiply our diagonal. 1 times 6 gives us 6. And our off diagonal, negative 3 times negative 2 gives us 6, which we subtract. So we have 6 minus 6. So our determinant will be equal to 0. We don't need to go any further. This tells us that Kramer's rule can't be used because the determinant is equal to 0. Remember, in Kramer's rule, we divide by capital D. So capital D can't be 0, or else x and y would be undefined. So Kramer's rule can't be used here.